Hi, Mark here again from PondAlgaeSolutions.com, and in this video, I want to follow up a little bit more. Uh, last time we talked a bit about pH, what it was, uh, what it represented in your pond. This time I want to talk about buffering capacity, how to buffer this pH uh, to help make it safer for your fish. As we mentioned in the previous video, pH, which is the measurement of the, of the hydrogen ions in, in your pond water, will fluctuate throughout the day and it can rise and fall based on a lot of different factors. Rain could affect it, uh, photosynthesis from plants, uh, incoming water sources, um, weather conditions, a number of things can, can create these natural fluctuations in pH. Now the key really to keep this safe for your fish is not only to consider where pH is ranging or where it's, where it's generally located on the pH scale, and we've mentioned before that we like to see it normally between 6.0 and 9.0, and, and the more neutral it is, the better for the most part for many things. But <clears throat> what we really want to avoid is these very fast and rapid and wide swings and changes in this pH. This instability is what creates stress on fish. And so uh, you can literally use something as simple as baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. If your alkalinity, and, and on our test strips, as we've talked about before, uh, it's one of the measurements on our test strips. It's called alkalinity. And ideally, you want this number or this reading to be around 120 to 180 parts per million on this grading scale that we provide on, uh, with the test strips. Okay. So if you find that the alkalinity is low, uh, you can add sodium bicarbonate to the pond and bring this up into an acceptable range. Um, if the if the, the alkalinity is very high, the reading is very high, you can add a light acid to bring this down into the workable range. What does a buffer do though? That's an important point to make. For example, we'll take sodium bicarbonate again if the uh, alkalinity is low and you're getting these wide pH swings. What this buffering tool does, what this product or, or uh, uh, sodium bicarbonate does is it will capture uh, excessive acids or bases. It, it will neutralize and absorb these excessive acids or bases that you see come about in the pond and thereby create a, a much tighter range of pH swings uh, throughout the daily cycle that the pond will go through. So it, it truly is a buffer uh, or a tool that will, will grab these excessive things and bring them into line so they don't have quite the effect that they normally would if the alkalinity was very low. So it's a good thing to check. Uh, again, pH uh, movement and swings are natural. They're not to be worried about, but what you want to guard against is these massive moves and changes which can really stress uh, the inhabitants of the pond out. Buffers allow you to keep that under control, and it's easy to test your buffering capacity of your pond, the overall alkalinity reading of your pond, and you can go from there and, and make fine-tuning adjustments if you need to. So that is another important point about water quality. Uh, the next video, we'll talk about another very important characteristic of water quality, and that is water hardness, uh, and we'll talk about that down the road. So I appreciate you joining me today. If you have any questions about alkalinity, buffering capacity, or pH, uh, as always, please note those questions below this video on our blog. Uh, any comments uh, are welcome, too. So thanks for joining me today. Have a great day and enjoy your pond.